some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in Springfield, Tennessee with Jeremiah Payne, a.k.a. Auditors of America, Last Days of Freedom. And apparently he's butthurt about uh, somebody calling him a meth head. Well, gee, given your circumstances and how you live, I just can't figure out why. But that's besides the point. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What's going on, everybody? It's Jeremiah, Auditors of America, Last Days of Freedom. Guys, I am so sick of the belittling, the coming on here from my own subscribers, calling me a fucking meth head. Because I made the comment that $50 to last all week. I needed $50 to last all week. Dude, I know some people that go into... <laughs> You, they go get gas, they buy drinks, they buy ice, they buy something to eat. And that's fifty damn dollars right there, dude. I, I don't know where you're from that fifty dollars is like a grand. But to come on there and say because I needed fifty dollars to last all week convinced you that I'm a meth head when as far as I know, I have never even been in the same room with meth. Don't piss on my leg and tell me it's raining, because I think you would know if you were in the same room with somebody who was on meth. I mean, they're easy to spot. Oh, and I do think you actually know what they look like. I mean, I do think you might be intimately familiar with any of them. How sad and pathetic is your life that you have to belittle someone else so that you feel important? Or it makes you feel like your life don't suck as bad? That I gotta know. I mean, I need to know, guys. It's to the point, guys, I'm tempted to leave YouTube. And I am going to leave YouTube. I will be setting up a website. And I'm going to start doing all my stuff to the website. I'm slowly going to leave YouTube and be done with it. There's other platforms such as BitChute. Uh, many other platforms that I'm going to go to where you don't get this kind of shit, man. You don't have to put up. I don't have to put up with you guys. And when I say you guys, I mean the fucking assholes. The ones who's got to come on here and belittle someone so they feel better about themselves. Like I haven't heard that line coming out of you before, countless times before. You say you're going to leave YouTube, and then a couple weeks later, you're back, or not even a couple weeks later, practically the next day. But even if you do leave YouTube, where are you going to go that's as big as YouTube where I mean you got an e-bag somewhere with a large platform and YouTube is the largest platform oh that might be why you come back to YouTube because everywhere else you go it's just too small for you to do anything with by the way I thought you said your wife had a job in Nashville when is that supposed to start did she or did it fall through I mean you need to get yourself straightened out uh, somehow both you and your wife, I mean, you've got a child you need to take care of. And this e-bagging stuff will only get you so far. I, I just don't get it, man. I, I hope I never get it. I don't want to understand people like you. I have to deal with people calling me a fucking meth head. And saying that because I said $50 to last all week. Convince them that I was a meth head. Who can make $50 last all week? I mean, most people spend $50 a day easy. Easy. Especially in today's economy. And like I said, 
No, I won't be ordering red lobster. I don't eat red lobster. Never ate lobster in my life. But I have to give gas money to the person picking me up. I have to eat. I have to have drinks. I have to have ice. I mean, Jesus, man. Well, uh, the cost of living can vary from place to place, but I remember a few years ago when I worked at Walmart, I had to survive on $15 bef uh, up until payday, and yeah, I had to make that work. It's not easy, but sometimes you have to pinch pennies until Lincoln screams. Please, one time, I'm going to allow you to comment again on my channel. Tell me, where is it that you're from? Because I want to move there. That wherever you are, $50 is like $5,000. If that, if that convinced you that I'm a meth head, then you're a fucking asshole. To call somebody a meth head repeatedly, like you did, who has been sober 11 years... I don't even drink alcohol. Trust me, a meth head, it wouldn't be in the shape that I'm in. Do I look like a fucking meth head, really? Do I? Well, now, I've seen a few of them in my day. Gaunt, skinny appearance, sunken in eyes, missing teeth, uh, jitteriness. I mean, there's a lot of things there. Do you have your teeth? I've seen you be a bit jittery at times. I mean, uh, and you are quite skinny. But you know what? Anything is possible. No, I don't. Fuck shit. I've seen meth heads. No. I'm sorry, guys. But. I go out and I put my life on the line. Every fucking time I do an audit. Every time. Not only am I putting my freedom on the line, I am putting my life on the line for you guys. And don't get me wrong, that is an honor. That is my choice to do this. It's my little bit that I can do to help ensure freedom. And I love doing it. I love doing audits. And I'm good at doing audits. And a lot of you want to say, hey, you antagonize the cops. Well, fuck yeah. Um, it's not my job to be professional. It's theirs. It's their job to de-escalate and to calm down the situation. Yes, it's their job to maintain that professionalism. But it's not your job to test that professionalism. Your job is to take care of that child that you have. Not go out and fraud it. And part of your job of taking care of that child is to actually go out and find a job. Which obviously you have not done because if you put in as much effort into getting a job as you do with your frauding, you probably would have already had a job. The point of this video is to the asshole who made them comments. There was three of you. To the point, I had to delete my post. I want you to unsubscribe from me to the persons, the three people that was involved in that. I want you three to unsubscribe from my channel. And no matter what, no matter what, don't come back. Because I don't want people like you subscribe to me. I don't. If me saying I needed $50 to last all week convinced you that I'm a meth head, then you are the dumbest motherfucker ever. And I have met some dumb fucks, but you just took the icing off the cake. Jeremiah, if you are indeed on the stuff, I would suggest you get off now and go find a job to support your child rather than go frauding. And if you're not on it, then why are you so offended that people are calling you that? You should just move on. Get away from that. And just go find another job.
Yeah, focus on getting a job rather than, oh, what, be concerned about what other people are saying about you. At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I, I will see you next time.